today. From State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, this is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? Two-minute drill? Maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading them out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way. First at Oklahoma, then at USC. Big time talent, big time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him, and now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. Williams with a little touch pass forward. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, then maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. 13 yards remaining on second down. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. A strong running. <laughs> and he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. The quarterback run, good for 10 that time, but it does lead to a third down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You've told me before it's tough to identify how to block a 3-4 defense. There wasn't a whole lot of blocking there. And one other thing an offensive line coach told me, if you want to run wide against a 3-4, which is difficult to do because of the speed of the outside linebackers, it's often difficult for your offensive linemen to hit targets in space and create lanes for your guys to run through.
Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. On second down, here's Williams. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll come up facing third and five. To throw, Williams, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Well, offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Here comes the Bears punter now. Greg George, deep for Arizona. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there are many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 18. Harrison will go in motion left. Murray flips his forward on a jet sweep. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. From the 20, here's the second and eight. Here's Murray. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. But you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive. What a great tone setter defensively. Oh, and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long. Keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. They'll set up a throw. Fighting through pressure. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, Talk about throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10.
from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play action. Now Williams. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. To the air, Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Here's Williams on first and 10. And again, back to Komet. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Throwing on second down is Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Running is Swift. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. And they run the option on second down. Williams loses the football. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And the return will stop right around the 25. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect.
Following that fumble recovery, it's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. Yeah, that's a nice pickup there, especially when it comes on the heels of a three and out the first time you have the ball. They were determined to not have that happen again, and that's a nice throw for their first first down of the game. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. First down, Murray. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Second and nine from the 44. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. To throw, it's Murray. And this will be swung out here for Connor. And he's got a first down there after a gain of about 12 as the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They work now on second and nine. Murray now to throw. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. He's got his running back out of the backfield, and he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. going to throw and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down now the card's going to call another timeout their second as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half sacks a growing theme in this first half this is second and long to throw is Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. 
Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Murray now. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Michael Wilson as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, the Cardinals did what they always do, and that's rely on their quarterback, Kyler Murray. His touchdown pass is the only score of the game thus far as his guys hold a 7-0 lead to this point. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just the one touchdown of that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. 
And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete to McBride. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On play action, it's Murray. A quick throw there is incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Second and ten. First carry for James Conner. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Murray. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called, it's taken in right at the 20 yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and they will take over first and 10. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He's going to try and take off with it. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, with him trailing here in the second half, maybe his legs can try to give this offense a spark. And that's the benefit of having a young quarterback, right? Having a rookie, a guy who will say, hold on a second, I have a little bit of fearlessness to my game. It isn't working as well the other way. Let's see what I can do to help my team this way. And boy, he did it there. Throwing on first and 10, Williams. He'll get this complete to the rookie from Washington. And he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They run out of the gun with Swift. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's second and five now from the 37. On the option to give to Swift here. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll run with Herbert. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. To throw, it's Williams. He's got Allen. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Williams. Give him another one right back to Allen. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. DJ Moore from three yards out. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore.
Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Now Greg Dortch going to bring it out of the end zone. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles about the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Murray. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to run for it with Connor. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise that it was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, a run with Connor. And taken down just shy of the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. The Chicago offense set to get started. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. Hey. 
And they'll run the option to start the drive. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Second and seven. He's going to keep this again. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. They'll try and throw with Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Working out of the gun, Williams. A pass complete to Adunze. Short gain, short gain last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. Now second and four. They'll go play action here with Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I don't know if you need the big shot right there or not, because you've still got time to work some of the shorter stuff and try to get into field goal range. They did go for the big one there. It would have been nice, but it winds up incomplete. A big play here. Crowd on their feet. Third and four. Throwing again here, Williams. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And the Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's got Connor and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Whoa. 
An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. To throw is Murray. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Boy, shifts past him. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. On first down, here's Williams. Now pass complete to Moore. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Second and six coming up. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward. Because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go a long Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house. But the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. And the crowd a major factor now. Here's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. So a big one coming now for Cairo Santos. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost, and they've come in here and stolen one on the road. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win. And in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.